Hey guys, what's going on? It's Double Y Films. Now today I'm going to make a video that's kind of uncharacteristic of me. I'm going to do like just a little uh, view into what's up with YouTube. Now I'm not going to be doing anything news related like with YouTubers and stuff. I want to stay out of all that shit. I just want to talk about the new feature that's been implemented. Or I believe that has been implemented and I hope I don't see like weird cancer that's not supposed to be here. So what am I talking about? Well, here, let's start at the home page when I come into YouTube, right? I have recommended videos, I have a watch it again section, and um, if I scroll over a video, you know, I don't really know what's going to be in it. I can just see a thumbnail, I can see a title, and that's about it. That's essentially what everyone else sees. So well, let's say the John Tron challenge. We can see John, somebody else, and a very muscular referee, and those um, tight pants. And uh, we can just, you know, try to gather what we can from that. But aside me actually needing to click on it and watching to see what all of this is a boot, I really don't have a clue, right? So let's go over to maybe PewDiePie. Well, uh, let's see. I had to firstly click on a video to be able to do this, but if I scroll down and I take a look at some of his other videos, let's say, like, these fan games are insane. And then, you know, we have Felix with his uh, sunglasses, a React, and an anime girl. Well, I still maybe sort of possibly know what's going on, but now I have a good way of knowing. I can simply roll over the video, and I can see it's him playing a RPG maker of a fan game with him being naked in it. Wonderful. Or uh, maybe possibly... What's inside the final door? Number 1000 in Spooky's House of Horrors. Well, I can get a little preview and I can see spooks. We can see a lot of spooks. So if you want to be, you know, thoroughly spooked, you can click on this video. Or maybe his own clickbait video. You could roll over and you can see it's him reacting to whoever. So that's pretty interesting. I pulled up this other video from Wildlife Aid and I actually watched it all the way through because, well, I don't know. Shit like this entertains me. This is a very good channel. I would strongly recommend you guys subscribe because they do help a lot of animals. But aside that, as I saw, like, in this little preview, we can see this. Deer ran over by car and exploded. And we can see, like, something that really is horribly gruesome and volatile. Well, I can't see the preview here. I would have to literally click on the video and see what it is, aka clickbait, but if I scroll down through here where the thumbnail is a little bit enlarged, I can roll over and I can see it's some douchebag driving a really expensive car and then getting out of it. Mayhaps he hit something? As he says in the video, a deer ran over by a car, which I'm presuming it's his and he's just gonna be like, oh that's wicked crazy and take zero responsibility for the thing he's done, but I can now gauge and see if I do or don't want to click on this video, which I think is, um, if it is going to be implemented by YouTube soon, it will be a great feature because it will essentially get rid of, you know, clickbaity videos because we can now see a preview of it. Now, as mentioned before, if I go to my main page, I can't see that. If I go to, let's say, a random YouTube search, here we have Smite Patch Notes 3.12. I roll over this, I hold it still, and still I can't see a preview. The only way I can see a preview is when I actually do go to a video, and then I go over, and then I scroll over, and then I can see whatever happening happening. So there's a little bit of a give and take that I do have to click on a video for then, if it pops down in these related videos down here, only then may I see it. And even sometimes, you know how you have the first initial layer? If you have a second there when you say load more, the images are kind of fucked up, but even when you roll over, you can still see what's going on, but you have to actually go inside this little uh, border here. For some reason, this like white bit here just isn't implemented correctly yet. Now you may say, no, films, this is something you added yourself. Well, uh, let me prove you wrong. Here is a video preview app, which you have an extension for Chrome, which is what I have. Now, uh, use, as you can see by the description, it's use your mouse to hover over a thumbnail to see more images from the video. I essentially didn't read that because what I said makes more sense. So essentially it's the same thing. 
but when I go to my extensions, here I have Adblock, which I use to help me dealing with really spammy websites or websites that look like they'll give my computer literal aids because of the amount of spam and advertisements on them. I typically turn this off whenever I'm watching a YouTube video or if I'm watching streamers or someone else that, you know, gains money because I respect them and I would want, you know, other people to also have it turned off when they watch my video, so I try to do the same for them. Sorry that I have it. But sometimes you really, really need it. So then I have Google Docs and Google Docs offline. And then I have Get More Extensions. So literally, these are the only three add-ons which I have for my computer. It's not like I went and deleted like any others, because I haven't. Because I actually didn't know about this until I looked it up a little while ago. Because I didn't know this was going to be implemented. But this is pretty interesting. See, even if we go on my channel and uh, I scroll over a video... I, I I don't know what's going on. Like, these are rambles to relax video. I scroll over puppies, no idea what's on it. So, a little, a little clickbaity, but uh, it pretty much is just trying to be relaxed, and that's the theme I was going for. So I think once YouTube finally implements the uh, preview to channels, to the main pages, to the searches, like, it's just website-wide implemented, I think that'll be great, because that's finally a, a great solution to the clickbait problem which we seem to have which many youtubers have made a video about I try not to watch them all because they pretty much all say the same thing of like they're just doing it for views it's like well yeah cuz that's kinda what people wanna do on YouTube but whatever you know just gonna let that one go but I think what YouTube is doing is great it's a great stand up for them it's a finally good answer yes you can only see maybe three or four second preview of the video and maybe you won't know exactly what it's all about and maybe you will get you even more interested to click on the clickbait but at least now you can you know get a look and see into it you can actually judge it okay I do want to watch this or no I don't want to watch this garbage just from seeing inside the video I think it's actually pretty great I know this video is a little bit uncharacteristic of me but I thought I'd share the same thing with you if you guys having this pop up you know, so you can also relate and be like, oh yeah, it's happening to me. Or you can be like, no, you're, <laughs> you're, you're YouTube has AIDS. Which at that point I'd be really sad about. But I imagine this would be something that will be fully implemented at some point and they'll release an article about it or something and everyone can live happily now that clickbait videos are one step closer to being defeated. Or at least we can hope. But anyway, I hope this has been informative. I don't know if it was or not, I just kind of rambled on because I thought this was a cool feature and I just want to give my thoughts about this because, you know, I kind of live on this website and it's important to me that they don't destroy it or turn it inside out because that'd be terrible. But I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next time.